Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to demonstrate how to use Power World Simulator to solve economic dispatch problem in power system. Here, I take a problem of simple power station using three generators to supply power to a variable load. The cost characteristic equations of three generating units are given below. It is assumed that the power station supplies power to a variable load which varies from 500 megawatt to 100 megawatt in the step of 50 megawatt. This figure shows the schematic diagram of three generating units supplies power to a variable load. In this diagram, three generators are connected in three different buses, bus 1, 2 and 3. All the three buses are interconnected through transmission line. All the three generators supplies power to meet out a variable load which is connected at bus number 2. Based on this schematic arrangement, we are going to make a model using Power World Simulator. These are the set of formulas used to do manual calculation. Here we are calculating incremental cost using power demand PD, cost coefficients AI, BI and CI and we are assuming that di equal to 0. We are using the cost equation to calculate the hourly cost of generation. Pi, power generated by the ith unit. For example, in this example, we are using 3 units. So, Pi means P1, P2 and P3 are the 3 generating units supplying power to the load. This table shows the generator cost coefficients AI, BI and CI. AI, BA and CA are the constant of each generating unit. Pmax, the maximum power generated by the ith unit. Pmin, minimum power generated by the ith unit. There is a limitation for each units how much maximum power can be generated uh, without loss and how much minimum power can be generated without loss. So in that way here these three generators are operated at the minimum power generation of 50 megawatt. P max of unit 1 equal to 150 megawatt. P max of unit 2 equal to 125 megawatt. P max of unit 3 is 100 megawatt. So the maximum power can be generated using these three generator or 375 megawatt and the minimum power can be generated using this three generator is 150 megawatt. So we can generate 150 megawatt to 375 megawatt power using these three generators. The table shows the solution of the above problem. In the column 1, we can see load varies from 100 megawatt to 400 megawatt. Column 2 is lambda variation from minimum level to maximum level. Column 3, 4, 5 shows power generated by unit 1, 2 and 3. Column 6 indicates the hourly cost of the power station for different load. Cost characteristic equation in power world simulator. In power world simulator, they are using cubic cost model. The cost equation, it is a function of unit fuel cost, di, ci, bi and ai constants. But in our cost equation, we are using quadratic cost equation. 
we are using only the ai bi and ci most of the case we take unit fuel cost equal to 1 constant di it is very 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 small value so we can make it as 0 ci what we are using that they are using as a ai what we are using ai they are using as a ci but bi is the same value with this coefficient we can proceed for simulation after you click the power world simulator icon this main page will be displayed now we choose new case to solve this problem go to file new case draw network so in this uh, problem we are using three buses in the bus 1, 2 and 3, bus 1 we connect generator 1, bus 2 generator 2 and the load and bus 3 generator 3. So we choose 3 buses. So we assume here all the buses are operating at 11 kilovolt. Bus 2 same 11 kilovolt bus 3 also same 11 kilovolt now we connect generator at bus 1 megawatt set point is 0 Minimum generation is 50 according to our table. The maximum generation is 150 for generator 1. The cost equation, cost output cost model, cubic cost model. In this power world simulator, they are using cubic cost model. But in our problem, we are taking quadratic cost model. Here they are using A, B, C, D four constants but in our problem we are using only a b c and also they are taking here d equal to zero we also take d equal to zero but here there is one uh, change in this uh, c and a what we are using in our problem c they are using as a and what we are using in a they are using as a c so now we have to give what is the value of a that is a C in our problem as a A. Here 50. B 2.15. C 0 0.05. 0, 0, 0.05. Click OK. Similarly, we can set the generator 2 and 3 also like generator 1. 0, 50, 125, output cost model, cubic cost model, 50, 2.7, same point zero one. we have to connect the last generator at bus 3, 0, 50, 100 cost equation cost model cubic cost model 90 1.6 now i connect a load at a bus 2 Here I take a 150 megawatt load is connected at bus 2. Now we have to connect all three buses through transmission line. Here I am taking the resistance value 0. Reactants also I am taking very less value. Why I am taking resistance equal to 0? In this case, 
it is a lossless transmission line system is a lossless line lossless transmission that means the generator and the load are very closely connected and also i am taking the reactance also very less value since we are going to study only the real power not reactive power so i am taking it is equal to very less value now we have to select area field select hourly cast and area field lambda since it is off control this off control because we are not selecting the mode of operation we will select uh, the mode of operation run mode add on opf case opf area economic dispatch now it is zero now we have to go to edit mode draw i want to write the text what this value hourly cost equal to lambda now we run our simulation go to tool run mode click this button now it shows i want to change the load in the step of 50 megawatt so i choose here a delta per mouse click equal to 50 so now i can change the load minimum to maximum 150 megawatt 100 megawatt for 100 megawatt only two generators are supplying power the first one is switched off that means it gives only 0 megawatt power only generator 2 and 3 supplies power to meet out the load of 100 megawatt for this 100 megawatt what is the hourly cost for 47.50 dollar per hour and the lambda at minimum generation now we are running our system at minimum generation suppose this system should not be run below 150 megawatt but here we are running at 100 megawatt so the lambda it is at minimum generation dollar now we can increase the load on 50 200 Two fifty, three hundred, three fifty, four hundred. At four hundred, it reaches a maximum generation level. Since this uh, system can generate only up to three seventy five megawatt, so up to three fifty, three seventy five megawatt, we can generate the power. But after it crosses the three seventy five, it goes the maximum generation. maximum generation but the power is still supplied to the generator to the load using this generator 1 2 and 3 but it crosses the limit we can go up to 500 500 even 500 also at maximum generation 